Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering surface builders. Surface builders are the thing that lets us control the surface of our biome and to do that we're going to need to make a custom class. So in our common package let's create another new package called .world.surface and in here we're going to create a new class called example surface builder and this class is going to extend surface builder of surface builder config. We can press ctrl shift o to import surface builder then hover over this add a constructor, then hover over this again and add the build surface method. On mod maps, this will be called the apply method. Let's rename this to the codec and copy it into the super. And in this method, we will apply our surface builder. And what I'm going to do is just make a randomly select a value and then build that surface. Alternatively, you can use a pearl and noise generator to make something like gravelly mountains where you have patches of gravel and stone. So at the top let's create a public static final block state and we're going to call this example block is equal to dot example block dot get dot get default state. And this is going to be the example block that's on the surface of our biome. Let's say the other block we're going to use is stone and that's going to be equal to blocks dot stone dot get default state. Now let's create surface builder configs for each one. So public static final surface builder config, we're going to call this example block config, and this is going to be equal to a new surface builder config, but we need to pass in three block states. The top, so on a grass type that would be grass, the middle on the grass type that would be dirt, and the underwater one. So I'm just going to pass in the example block for all three, and then we'll do the same thing for the stone. So let's do if random dot next int two, and that means we can receive two different values. There's a zero or one, and we'll check if it's equal to zero. And if it is, then we can build a surface with the example block config, and otherwise we can build a surface with our stone config. So let's do surface builder dot default dot build surface or apply on mod maps. And then we can pass in the random biome chunk x z start height noise default block default fluid sea level seed and then the config. But here we're going to pass in our example block config. And otherwise if the next int is one we're going to pass in our stone config. So this is going to randomly check and select either our example block or our stone as the surface. So we're going to get a mix of stone and our example block on the surface. Of course you can create more different example configs or use things like pearl and noise. If you want more different things here you can set next int to something like 3 and then store that in a variable and check each one. But for now I'm just going to randomly select between our example block and our stone. There'll be a link in the description on how to use pearl and noise, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Next let's register our surface builder. In our core init package we're going to create a new class called surface builder init. And in here we're going to create a public static final deferred register of surface builder of any config and we're going to call this surface builders and this is going to be equal to deferred register dot create then we pass in forge registries dot surface builders and then our tutorial mod dot mod id then let's create a public static final registry object of our example surface builder and let's call this example surface builder and this is going to be equal to surface builders dot register and then we need to pass in a name and a supplier for the name we'll just put in example as the name of our surface builder and then for the supplier we can create a new supplier of a new example surface builder and then for the config we can just pass in surface builder config dot field 237 203 underscore a underscore which is in mod maps codec now we need to register our surface builder class so in our tutorial mod let's add this over here this has to be after the block in it but before the biome in it so over here let's do surface builder in it dot surface builders dot register bus and there we go. Next we just need to create an empty configured surface builder since we actually do all the surface builder configs in here. So to do that in our data package where we have worldgen.biome I'm going to create a new package then delete the dot biome and type in configured underscore surface underscore builder so worldgen dot configured surface builder. And in here we want to create a JSON file with the same name as we put in our init class. So in here it will be example.json. 
And then here we'll open some brackets and then create a config key like so. And then a type key, which is going to have our tutorial mod colon example. Then in our config, let's create a top material like so. And in here we're going to need a name and this has to be capital. And here we pass in the name of the block. So I'm just going to put Minecraft colon dirt since this is an empty config. Then let's copy this two more times and remove the comma at the end. This is going to be our under material and then our underwater material. Finally, let's add this to our biome by going to our example biome JSON and with the surface builder, we're going to select tutorial mod colon example. And that's actually it. Now we can run the game. This video is sponsored by MTX Serve. MTX Serve provides premium game servers for titles such as Minecraft, Rust, and Valheim. Click the link in the description and use code CY4 to get 5% off your server today. And if we run the command that we made in our last episode, where we teleport to our dimension, you'll see that we have a beautiful kind of terrain, kind of, very kind of, with our custom surface builder. Some of the stone is replaced by the gravel, but that's just the features. It, it looks beautiful. Um, yeah, there's a lot more you can do with this. And that's going to do it for this video. We actually have a Minecraft server that you can join completely for free. It's modded. Join the Discord. We also have some amazing helpers there that can help you if you have any problems with your mod. Thank you once again to MTX Surf for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you next time.